Hi, my name is Mona Pignon. I am a mom to a six-year-old boy who has a spinal cord injury. Isaac was paralyzed when he was just four months old by a cancerous tumor shortly after being diagnosed with cancer. One of the struggles I would say that we face as a six-year-old boy now is accessibility in his school and in our community. We have a, we live in a small community and just getting um, to go to certain places in town um, is, is a little bit of a struggle. Um, one thing that I recently had to experience is driving uh, four hours for physical therapy for Isaac. Um, so that's a, another struggle with living in a small town is the services are often far away. Um, one of the things that I can say is that I have a really good support system um, with my family and friends, um, but I also have um, online support where I've met people with spinal cord injuries that have children or they have spinal cord injuries themselves, and we are able to just help each other through this struggle. Um, you don't come with a, a handbook on how to raise a child that has a spinal cord injury, and, and there's nothing really that you can do to prepare yourself for the task that you, you take on. Um, but I find their strength in numbers, and um, I'm very grateful to have found backbones um, when I first uh, was looking online, I found um, Rebecca who has, has started the organization Backbones and she immediately called me right back and we connected and we shared stories and um, the thing with Backbones is that it's not a one-way street. Um, I was paired with a mom that lives in Texas whose son was recently injured, so I was kind of the mentor or the person with experience and my son has really good upper body strength and her son was just starting out as a five-year-old um, with this injury so I w it was encouraging to her to know that he can eventually get to where Isaac is um, but there was uh, one time where I needed her help um, with some issues and so it's not a it's not a one-way street and um, you know, when one person goes through a struggle, it's good to share um, your experiences instead of keeping it to yourself. And I think that's why Backbones works. And um, just having that information right at your fingertips um, online um, is very helpful too, because sometimes, you know, you don't want to walk into a building or, you know, you're not ready to, to go there, so. A spinal cord injury can affect a, an entire family the person injured, a parent, a spouse, a grandparent, friends, it affects everyone. And when you feel like you're not alone, um, it helps you on your journey. So I encourage you to get connected.